Greetings everyone! I will show you something freaking crazy today. I think it was because of a bug. Nobody could explain it. Literally nobody could explain it because here is what happens. When you copy your account into the BTR, basically when you apply for the BTR, BTR by the way is the beta version of the game, it copies everything about your account, well almost like 99% of your account into the BTR. However, I had an account before that has been copied and for some freaking reason it got copied wrong but it came into my advantage. Let me clarify what do I basically mean. I am talking here about the, my own progress of the new guidebooks, you know, these guidebooks, here's the survival guide in which you have to collect these talents, points, points in, and, and then go through exploration project. From exploration project, you can check the survival guide. Now, I just maxed my book, literally took everything, everything in here, and this is the maximum possible level. Obviously, that's the only thing you can achieve right now. If I click a total warfare, I will be able to unlock more. If you remember my other video, which I have explained how these hidden talent works here, there, there is one. This is a total warfare. Once you take total warfare, it will unlock way of infantry one, mobile forces, long range powers, and each one specialized at uh, these troop types like from infantry it's already mentioned and whenever you take any of these it will unlock something relative to it like for example as soon as i unlock way of infantry one i will have reservoir raid i have capital clash however if i keep going and take and uh, talk uh, the long range and the mobility something else would happen that everyone again most likely knows about here a new unity is strength now another thing if i took mobile forces and all of that is will not to anyone literally but there is a limit of your progress the limit of my progress can only show me up to 57 which is total warfare 2 as soon as i take total warfare 2 there will be a new talent box that will show up way of infantry 2 Mobile forces do a long range, and they are, believe me, they are fucking crazy. If I try to take wave infantry here, max it out, then if I try to take another one, which is long range, here, I max it out, and then there will be only one thing left. Uh, all of these is going to be unlocked, and you can see it, but I will show you something that you cannot actually see. Since I have only 15 points, my only, only left option is mobile forces to unlock the upcoming future box. As you can see here, these are the future box. You can reach call of call to arms and this medical mastery too. Uh, I will literally show you a video for this, but you cannot, no matter what you do, see what's inside the total warfare 2 and what would happen if you actually take total warfare 2 so this bug allowed me to see what's in the future and i'm talking about btr things that will happen in the future maybe the next mego maybe the, the, the like maybe after two megos we don't know yet but let me show you the crazy part as you can see the maximum level here is 56 and it takes 500 experience per level this is fucking a lot by the way no matter who you are you cannot get more than this even if you are in btr however there is bug having that allowed me to have up to level 66 in survival guide and this is on the beta too I can actually go more. So what the bug, what did this bug do? It allowed me to reset all of the skills and I still can upgrade them again, which let me have more stats. Now, this is a beta, so it doesn't really matter much, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what will be coming in the future and what actually would unlock if we went into Warfare 3. Now here, I will go and follow the same path. Oh, no not this one where is the mobile forces yeah so in general these talents is very good okay but it becomes even better when you unlock the total warfare too why because it start adding these crazy uh, stats like extra marsh capacity like extra damage blah 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 see here 
The whole, the whole maxed upgrade gives you 2.5 damage every 5 turns. This is the whole upgrade, the 5 nodes. Now, it will unlock the way of infantry, way of uh, mobile forces, unlocking all of these, by the way, has its own critical skills. Like, for example, this one, when friendly, friendly infantry is below, blah, 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 it takes less damage, blah, blah, blah. All of this is really very nice. However, now, I will show you what will happen once I max all of them. This is only possible on the BTR so far. Okay. Uh, as you can see, there's unity strength 1 and 2. And all of these is still possible in life. But I'm going to show you what is not possible in life. Now, this is not possible. It is not possible to max everything, including mobile forces, if I choose to max all the three. Now, what happened is... Total Warfare 3 has unlocked to me. That's not the only thing. Now, when I click at it, it's a new complete stats for it. But the interesting part is it looks normal. But then when you progress further, it adds attack amplification, lethality amplifications, a lot of amplifications. But then it adds the skill. Just one node. Just the first level only gives you 3% every 5 turns. Maybe this will end up at 10%, 15%, I have no idea. But imagine just one, one node of it will give you 3% damage to all of your friendly troops damage. And this is not, not the only thing, by the way. I think it has, it adds a lot of marsh. Maybe th that's a, a, around 5 or 4k extra marsh. But then, if I take any point, if I try to take any point in here, it will literally unlock 3 new talents hidden those way of inventory three mobile forces three a long range power three I, I, let me tell you something the level two of these were crazy where these the level two the way of infantry two the mobile forces two and the long range power all of these are crazy why because all of these has its own special skill this special skill is basically the most important thing about this whole tree not the stats this special because they literally reduce the damage and this is by the way for solo marsh attack i'm not talking about the rally i mean if you want to improve your marsh overall now imagine that's coming in the future i can show you one already which is total warfare 3 these are the skills it's filled of stats and with the stats there is amplification left and right and i think here is there will be yeah there is amplification here for defense there's an amplification there for health and there is much capacity there and then there are this one which is looks like very powerful buff that's not again my problem my problem will rely on these three new most likely massive upgrade to your infantry massive upgrade to your mobile forces riders and long range and most likely if you take any one of these it's going to unlock maybe unity strength 3 maybe call to arms 3 and all of these crazy stuff which basically means you can <laughs> you should never 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 skip this now one guy would tell me yeah i know that everyone uh should get these but it is very hard now let me tell you something there is one thing that i have figured out about this one how would you actually like seriously how would you upgrade all of this shit knowing the fact that most of these are pay to win if you want to max the trees let me tell you how do i do it in general uh if you whether you are a low spender by the way whether you are free to play doesn't fucking matter okay if you don't follow the way i am telling you right now it's completely on you i don't give a fuck it's literally on you it's not gonna max max your trees since i'm spending away i did spend but it's going to give you the most nudes in the whole project. Okay, so one thing you need to know. The latest, these, these latest uh, nudes are going to be the most fucking expensive of all. Now, what do I do in general? I avoid all the fucking nudes. I avoid all of them and just upgrade what is enough to take me to the next nude. Even if this is, was a nice note, for example, uh, or that was a nice note, this is gonna give me something, I give no fucking shit. I just move forward, take one point of this, and see if this has any requirements. Again, take one point of that, take one point of this, then just directly rush at this one and take this one. 
I had no points in any other fuck everything else. Even if this one is going to give me crystal mines, crystal portion, I give no flying fuck. I just take one point of this, and guess what? If you only take one point of this, I think it's gonna unlock most of the stuff too. And then go move forward. This this might only be you need one point for this to move forward, and again one point for this one, one point for that one. That would allow you to move forward, blah blah blah, and I keep doing all of this until I reach here. Once I reach here, I keep it only at one fucking point. That's it. And then max out this. Once I max out this exploration efficiency, again, I'm gonna lose 10%, 10% more. That's what I'm going to do. Then I give no flying fuck about all of these and go all the way back and take all of the small nodes again. Your whole objective here is not to reach this bullshit. You're not a massive rally leader. If you are a rally leader, that's a different story because you are a spender, you're going to max these in a way. But if you are a low spender or a free to play, you should never look elsewhere. Maybe you can take this one because it provides you with uh, bio cups, but anything else, I would seriously recommend you not to do it. If you want to do it, sure, but first make sure that once you reach this objective, which is going to take maybe months and a half, or maybe 40 days if you're active, then you would take it. Now, I have here a picture of how it would look like if you decided to take the 20% reduction on each of the currencies, and like basically one, one picture would show you how much it costs, and one picture would show you how much less you will be taken from each single node so you can see how crazy this actually this buff is actually is here you have an example in here let's take this behemoth reinforcement that obviously you will reach way early way early before you even get to unlock this one look look that's an example for you this picture shows you how much it would cost you if you did not take the reductions and another photo here would show you how much it would cost you if you decided to take it it's literally 20 percent less of each this alone is like literally 10 or 15 dollars reduction bare nude imagine a node like this one or a node like this one how much it would cost you like seriously and for those who might say I'm delusional and I don't know how free-to-play accounts is, no, I have my friend here that's a free-to-play account and that's basically her progress in here. Like, see this one, for example, even though they did some mistakes, she did some mistakes, but still, she had a very nice progress. I mean, see, one thing you should know and you would be able to know if you are free-to-play, you will always have a lot of gears more than the fuel. Let me just highlight it. See, she has like 39,000 years. So if you were a low spender and you wanted to buy, uh, you should always go for the fuel if you, if you wanted to progress faster. As you can, can see, there are many nodes could have been uh, literally not taken at all, which is going to even boost your progress. One more thing is maybe you would consider taking only one mine so it'd be able to take uh, what do you call uh, the, the event rewards only which requires you to harvest for 72 hours and then maybe later you will upgrade your mines but for the first month and a half I would recommend you to do nothing but to try to reach out and to see that's an example here this could have been taken like seriously that's a free to play account free to play I swear to god it's not been spent nothing has been spent in here look this has not been taken and the account has progressed even taken some of the nodes that's not even necessary to be maxed see if this for example has been taken this would have reduced the price of 10 percent of each the total prices needed for this one will be covered by already two nodes only from the advanced nodes so i would definitely recommend there is no second thoughts about it it is must it's must take you must take this one and then you must take the second one which i can be <laughs> got ignored if these were not ignored like wh wh why is it even necessary to take two of this one i think only one is enough uh to unlock and then go all the way back and then upgrade it again again one more thing i wanted to discuss here 
let me see if I have my screen hold on yes when it comes to these events let me adjust it okay survival of the fittest okay this survival of the fittest account uh, event in general when you hold for materials and something there are requirements as you can see here if in order for you to be able to obtain most of the things but what you should be doing is literally not focus more than getting 50 rank 50 in all of them if you are a holder who holds a lot of materials it is way much better for you to aim to get rank 50 on every single survival of the fittest or SVS account um, or SVS event other than pushing your whole materials to reach out in rank 10 on survival of the fittest or SVS and even if you want to save materials there is a very nice trick you do would do you know these tokens you are going to get some of it even if you are free to play and not spender even if you are low spender and then you can use these tokens to reduce the amount of pressure in your resources and before doing so you can check your ranking on survival of the fittest if you if this for example say this survival of the fittest most of your spenders in the states they are all investing so it's going to be very fucking hard to reach rank 20 you can just go for rank 50 and then use your own extra ticket here to get this rank 20 since you cannot even achieve it in the normal way which is going to reduce the pressure on your tokens and your resources like seriously otherwise there is absolutely no other reason you would use and complete uh the rank 20 to survival if it's most likely going to be hard or you can save these and just do uh the very hard but i really don't think it is there is nothing actually very hard for you to achieve with the exception of survival of the fittest that's why if i would save my tokens I would only use my tokens in the most hardest uh, to achieve like say achieving rank 20 this time might be hard and this is usually on the first megos like usually in the first place everyone goes crazy and it becomes so fucking hard for you to achieve rank 20 so maybe the first or the second because you can just complete it and it only costs one token and then just go try for the rank 50 and it's going to be way much easier for you and it's gonna save ton of resources other than <laughs> burning your own self to get rank 20 and this is really really a, a very decent way for you to literally hit a couple of bears with just one stone. This will allow you to be more efficient and allows you to get a lot of fuel, a lot of these gears, which is obviously going to help you into progressing further. It is it is too hard, obviously, to reach out to the end nudes, but it is going to be way much fucking easier if you decided to take these. Literally, it's gonna cut. 20% of every single fucking shit is starting with this one that is going basically again to cut 10% then just go all the way back take all the nodes again and harvest as much as possible of points this is basically the advice that I'm going to tell you and give you whether you like to follow it or not that's how I follow it even as a spender that's how I do it and that's how I max most of the things even before like literally reaching the end of the mego without the need of buying so much fucking useless shit if you like the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment on how do you feel about it and please it does take you a couple of seconds only to like the video so don't be fucking greedy or be, be lazy or whatever you want to call it otherwise your cat is an always fucking risk see you guys and have a wonderful day